Hi, my name is Dylan, and today we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a popsicle stick guitar. It's only going to take 15 to 20 minutes or so, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the first step of this is just to create the base of the guitar. And it's I did it with eight popsicle sticks by eight popsicle sticks just to create that perfect square, just so it would be easy to enclose it but on the edges and it's a perfect square and it looks nice and neat. Just personally for me, I think it looks pretty cool. And you're just gonna glue it with the Gorilla Glue or hot glue. Hot glue tends to dry faster, so I would recommend that but I only had Gorilla Glue. So, you know, I just put on a TV show while I was waiting to dry, and then from there on, we moved on to the next step. So the next step is just enclosing the base of the guitar to really create that acoustic feel, to really accentuate the string sound. So what I did was I had actually cut the popsicle sticks around by like 20%. I did around like, like 12 of them so that created six layers and it made the guitar, the guitar really like have some shape to it and it helped with the acoustics of the strings to vibrate and project and uh, yeah so I just glued them together and I let it dry and then I just proceeded to the next step. What I'm doing now is I am trying to shrink the hole that I we had created with creating the bass by using some just full-size popsicle sticks because I think it it like accentuated that it was a popsicle stick guitar so I didn't end it, I didn't want to cut it but I glued all the edges together and I did it around two like widths of a popsicle stick smaller just to really give that shape of a guitar rather than just a box with a neck connected to it and you can see that I'm screwing up the gluing you, once you get it glued and just let it sit for a while, then you'll be all set and it'll be good. Now this is the fun part, is we're creating the neck of the guitar and it's a, it's kind of a tedious process. You have to go underneath that top layer for creating that the hole that we just created. And so I did four popsicle sticks and I just took a bit of glue and then just slid it under, let it dry for a little bit. You can see that there's so much glue sticking out, but I thought it was kind of it made it, it give me the craftsman look and style so I just I just rubbed it off and I turned it over just to add a little bit of length to it and so I just took some more full-size popsicle sticks and then connected it to the ones that we put on top and I'm gonna do that once more on the other side just to get that final the final full length of the neck and you can see that I do that right here and it sticks pretty well. You just glue the edge of that popsicle stick to the full size and you're all set and it's all good to go. While we're still on the back side, what we're going to do is we're gonna add some support because these popsicle sticks are basically just hanging on nothing. They're all individual. So I just took some half popsicle sticks, you know, from the like scissors that I cut and then just glued them on just to really ensure that they wouldn't fall apart. And I did the same in the middle of between those two, just because there was no support there as well. I put a little bit more support just, just to be 100% sure that it wouldn't break. That was like my number one fears, you know, cause popsicle sticks are super flimsy and breakable. So I put around six to seven layers in, or six to seven half popsicle sticks on the back. I did, actually did eight. So it, it ended up sticking pretty well. So this method is pretty helpful. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the guitar frets so we can have actual notes when we're playing the guitar. So I did every single half popsicle stick that I use had to be equidistant and I just glued them on straight on since it was a supported neck. And uh, yeah, so everything is just getting ready to dry. I'm just cutting the half popsicle sticks and everything's going together. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting on the strings, the final best part. So I just get a knife and I just drill into that bottom popsicle stick so I can put the strings through that. 
and it was kind of difficult to put the strings inside of the hole just because they're so small. I actually had to get my girlfriend to help me and uh, but it ended up going through. I actually broke the popsicle sticks just because I was drilling too hard but it still stayed together pretty well. You can see here <laughs> me struggling to fit it through. This is before I asked my girlfriend. She got that one in. I tried to get it in and I still couldn't do it. My hands are really shaky. So yeah, it's pretty simple once you get it and then you are all set from there and we move on to the next step. Okay, so what I did here was when I finally put the black string through the hole, I had found a bunch of ways to keep the holes inside, so I glued the holes together so the strings were just stuck into place. And I even tried to put a popsicle stick on top of that. I used a bobby pin just to keep it in place. And then this is the second, I used a second half popsicle stick just to put it, and then put it through those holes. I went through the tedious process again. And, but once I did, I stretched the strings onto the other side of the neck. And from there on, I glued it on, made sure it was stable. You know, the strings are really strong, so it was really hard to keep them in place. So I used a bobby pin and a tweezers and they ended up staying. And it was pretty nice. And I think it was basically pretty much being done. I did this right here just to add some some uh, more tension to the strings so they could produce a better sound. I thought it worked pretty well. I ended up doing two of those half popsicle sticks and it, it worked pretty well. So yeah, this is basically the last step of the tutorial. Now we all we have to do is listen to it play and see how it goes. Okay, now that we've finished the popsicle guitar, let's let's take a little spin at it. Thank you.